So before I get into this, I'm gonna tell you a quick story about what just happened. I typed in the search bar, how to save money, and the number of people who search that every single month is just massive. And that number of people who search for how to save money every single month continues to grow on a daily basis. And despite the fact there's several books, articles, courses, and videos on this topic, people still search how to save money every single month. And I think the problem is it's much, much deeper than actually just saving money and having the practical knowledge to save money. That's something I stressed a lot in one of my most popular videos ever, how to save money with low income. If you haven't seen that yet, go check that out right after this video. I'm linking it right up here. But anyways, I think that because when it comes to saving money at a young age, it feels like there's a million obstacles in your way that you just can't seem to get past. I remember just thinking, if only I got paid more every single hour. And you probably feel the same exact way that I did. You may even be thinking to yourself, if only I didn't have that car payment, I'd be able to put away so much more money. And you know what? A lot of guys think about money in this same negative way. And I'm here to tell you this, it's self-limiting beliefs like those that are holding you back. And I know because they held me back too. And that's what this entire video is all about. You're about to learn how to save money fast as a teenager in the easiest way possible. What's up, man? My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal growth and personal finance so you can better yourself every single day and live life on your own terms. I talk about saving money, getting out of debt, and increasing your income so you can control your life. Let's get into the video. Now, when you're a teenager between the ages of 14 and 18, what do you and most guys have in common? You're constantly overloaded with the new Jordan releases, the newest video games, the nice watches, and fresh clothes. And you know what? You want these things. And it's hard, it's almost impossible to resist these things. I mean, how could you? Because you know what? The dude walking by you has the fresh Space Jam Jordans on or the new Grape Jordan 5s. How can you resist that? You see it all around you, it's broadcasted all around you, People around you are wearing these things and they're getting compliments on these things. It's hard to not want those things. It's, it's hard when you go over to your friend's house and they're playing the latest PlayStation game on their gigantic flat screen TV. It's hard to resist that type of stuff. It's all around you and it makes you want it even more. And I know because I wanted these things when I was a teenager. I wanted them hardcore, but as I said in my frugal living video, it completely gave me the wrong mindset about money. I was in the mindset of do the work, get the money, spend the money, start at zero. Dude, you're about to be a full on adult. You can't have the same type of mindset that I had. You just can't. And here's exactly why, bro, because all of these things cost money. None of these things are necessities at all. Your future is necessary, and guess what? Guess what costs money? Your future. And that's exactly why you've got to have a plan. You see, when I finally realized that using the small amounts, the little bits of money that I was making as a teenager to buy these things, sure, I got the shoes, sure, I got the video games, and I felt like I was the man. But guess how much money I had left? Exactly. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because, yeah, that was my mentality as a teenager. But there's so many of us grown men who are using this same mentality within their adult lives. And if you approach real life this way, you're done for. That is the exact same behavior that will cause you to live paycheck to paycheck, just like most people do now. And for me, at least, that type of thought hits a little different because when you grow up thinking that majority of your family has money, you grow up and you see the houses, you see the cars, you see the brand new TVs, you see the shoes, you see the nice suits, you see the nice clothes. You see all these things that your family can afford, right? But then you grow up and you realize the whole time they were living paycheck to paycheck, just scraping up their money from one paycheck to another just to survive. That's how most people live. On the outside, it looks like they have it all together. On the outside, it looks like they have their money, their finances, their debt, all that stuff together. They don't have to worry about none of that, but that's how it looks. The reality of the situation is they don't have any money left over. Just like when you're a teenager and you buy those new Jordans, those new video games, the, the newest cell phone release, it looks like you have it. But in reality, you spent all your money on that, so now you don't have anything left over. I know because I experienced it. And, and when I found this stuff out, I just figured for myself, you know, I don't want that for myself. And you know what else? I don't want that for you. So here's the plan that I had. My plan was very, very simple. 
move out by the time graduation comes around. And as simple as that plan sounds, you'll be amazed at just how much putting your goals and your plans in front of you will change the way you think of things. When you aspire to move out at an early age, guess what? That changes your spending habits. That changes the way you think and that changes the way that I think about the the new Jordans, the new video games, the the new the new fresh shirts, you know what I'm saying? It changed my mentality about those things because I knew that if I wanted to move out at a certain point, spending all my money on that stuff is going to drastically hold me back month after month after month it can even hold you back for years and it caused me to start thinking okay how much money do i need to have saved to move in and get my own place how much money do i need to have as a buffer in my bank account how much needs to be in my checking account how much needs to be in my savings account that's the stuff that really got the the gears turning in terms of how can i be smarter with my money that change in my thought process led to a big change in my spending behavior. I wasn't doing all that spending that I was doing before. It quickly made me mature my mindset because I knew, hey, Reggie, you can't go out and buy those Jordans anymore. You can't go out and buy every single video game you see anymore. Because you know what? You want to move out. And if you want to move out, that's cool. But you only make $8.75 an hour. So you got to make that money last. Whatever you can save, you need to save it. Those are the conversations that I had to have with myself. So you you making $8, $10, $15 an hour, that's low income. So if you're making low income, we can't just blame the fact that, oh, I don't make that much, so I can't save that much. It's all in your behavior. It's what are you not spending your money on? And what are you using that money for instead of spending your money? Are you using it for your future? That's the stuff you got to ask yourself. You know, on top of just wanting to move out, there was actually a long list of things that I needed that I wanted to get myself. You know, I, I didn't have a car and I didn't want to continue to rely on my parents for my financial needs any longer. I just didn't. And as a guy, I've just always felt like this. If you can't financially take care of yourself without having to lean on your parents, how can you call yourself a man? If you truly want your parents to see you as a man, you've got to show them that you can get out on your own. You've got to show them that you can take care of things. You can stay on top of things. And I'm not talking about those one-off situations where you, you really, really need money like quick and you ask your parents for it and they give it to you and then you pay them back later. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about having to consistently rely on your parents for your financial needs. And over time, this developed into me having the mindset of, okay, if you haven't reached your financial goals, then why are you buying all these things that are extra, that are adding no value? Why do you keep buying the new PlayStation controllers? Why do you keep buying the new Mortal Kombat game? Why do you keep buying the new Call of Duty games? Why do you keep buying the new Jordans? Why do you keep buying the new clothes? Why, when you can save your money to be in a much better position later in life, so you can buy as many of these things as you want to. Why? These are the questions I had to ask myself to fully understand why I shouldn't go out and get things just because I could afford them or just because those shoes are limited edition. And that's really where my discipline came from when it came to making smart financial decisions consistently. Now, what's something else you have in common with most guys your age? Little to no bills. And you may not realize it right now, but trust me, that gives you a massive advantage. It gives you the power to actually pay yourself first without having to worry about putting a majority of your paycheck in the bills. When you're saving money, especially at a young age, you should have your money going to a place where you just don't touch it. Here's some advice. Whenever you get paid, just put half of your paycheck into your savings and just don't even touch it. And as for the rest of the money, we'll call that liquid money. It's basically money that you'll have readily available to you at any given time. And you would use that for your needs. Like if you need to fill up your car with gas or maybe you're going out with some friends to the movies, you need to get popcorn and soda or something. Or maybe you need to pay for your phone bill. That is what your liquid money would be used for. Because you have you, you do you do make your own money, so you do deserve that bit of freedom to be able to pay for some things. But your goal would be to keep as much of your liquid money as possible. That way you're doing two things. You're saving money with low income and you're practicing frugal living, which both are extremely necessary, especially as you get older, move out, and make more money. So here's exactly why this is a game changer. Once you get your next paycheck, you go ahead and you put half of that paycheck into your savings. So since you have 
half of your first paycheck and half of your second paycheck, now you have a full paycheck of money in your savings account. But when you take it a step further, remember that liquid money that you were supposed to keep as much of it as possible? Well, guess what? That liquid money that you had, let's say you had $500 in liquid money. Let's say you spent a hundred of it. Okay, now you have $400 of liquid money that's now gonna go into your savings. Okay, so now you have one full paycheck plus $400 of your liquid money in your savings. And then, not to mention the fact that you still have the other half of your second paycheck and your checking used as your liquid money for this period right here. And that alone is literally the fastest and easiest way you can save money as a teenager very, very, very quickly. So that's the exact strategy that I use when I got my first few jobs. And it is something that works all the time like no matter what you do that will work especially as long as you have that discipline you know that discipline to not buy things just because you can and the discipline to not touch your savings as long as you have those two disciplines you can take your savings to the next level i'm telling you especially if you you have little to no bills i mean come on that's all you got to do really that's all you got to do now this is something that i just i i, I can't stress it enough everyone thinks I need a raise. Everyone thinks, and it doesn't matter what age people are. It's ages from, from whenever you start your job, let's say you start your job at 16 years old, and let's say all the way to retirement age, people are saying these exact words. I need a raise. Okay, I'm gonna, I cannot stress this enough, man. I, I, just, I just can't, so I'm gonna just keep saying it so, so it, it registers, because I really want you to get this. It's not the amount of money you make that holds you back. It's you who holds you back. It's you buying that BS that you don't need that puts your goals and your dreams on hold. You don't need that watch. You don't need those Jordans. You don't need that PlayStation. You don't need those new Beats headphones. You don't need that new gaming PC. Bro, all you need is a plan and a strategy, and I promise you, you will get to where you need to be. You know what, man? Since you're still here, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip. Get yourself a side hustle. I won't spend too much time on this because I am gonna make a full video purely on this topic, but you need to have a side hustle. Uh, a big frustration of mine when I was younger is that I had to wait two weeks to build my savings every single time. I didn't like that. So during the summer, like I would cut grass, I would do all kinds of yard work. I would help people clean out their garages. I would just do what I could to make sure that I can make some extra income in addition to what I was making from my job. And you don't have to just do that. Like if you're not into physical labor or stuff like that, you, you could do something what my brother did. My brother, he used to make beats like hip hop beats and he used to sell them for $50 a pop. And those things sold pretty well. So, I mean, just think out of the box, but those are just small, quick examples of side hustles. But once you get your money from the side hustle, which that, that'll get you income the quickest. So once you get money from there, you can put it straight directly into your savings account. And that's going to just jumpstart your savings even better than everything I just talked about before. And unfortunately for me, but very fortunately for you, that's not something I started actively doing until I was 21. Like I've always had the side hustle since I was a kid, but when I was 21, that was, that was when I started adding what I made from my side hustle into my savings. Before I would just treat a side hustle as, <laughs> as you know, just, spending money really just just fun money to spend whatever i wanted it on but when i was 21 and i really had a sharper mindset around money i, I put everything from a side hustle directly into my savings and that led to a better future anyways that's the video for today man i hope you enjoyed it my name is reggie bryant this channel is all about personal growth and personal finance so that you can control you control your finances and control your life continue to better yourself every day as a man and live life on your own terms. That's what this channel is all about. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.